Before you begin, I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So you will not miss any of our entertaining videos. To our surprise, after leaving them, they were still threatening. There are a lot of threatening on the life of this man, a lot of threatening, and uh, they were even demanding for money, demanding for as much as 250 million naira if he wants to be alive. So based on that, the businessman wrote a petition to the command and the command commenced investigation into the case. We embarked on technical investigation and those people suspected they were being trade. And we have the, the recording of all their transactions. But the greatest surprise there is that this thing involved a legal practitioner who happened to be the one who came to, to take on bail the arrested criminal in the first instance. So, it is a thing of surprise to us that somebody who's supposed to know what the law says, somebody who's supposed to uphold the law, is now the person who is aiding and abetting the criminals. He was even involved in, in threatening, in making move to extort money from the, the businessman. They said uh, Alaji Shakiruddin Olufowobi. Not knowing to him that we are trailing him, we are having all his transactions, all his uh, conversations with these uh, the hoodlums on record. At the end of the day, we are able to come up with a very concrete evidence. And that is why we, we got him arrested. And the people that he was planning with to make sure that they extort money from this man under every other any guys, they are uh, defend himself in the court of law. But as far as we are concerned, we have every evidence to, to charge him to court. He is not he is a disgrace to the, to the, to the legal profession. If every lawyer is behaving that way, I don't think the, the noble profession we call the, the, the law, is, is, we, 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 it will be rubbish. I've asked him whether he's truly a lawyer. He said, yes, he's a lawyer. I've asked him for his yearbook because that is what we always uh, ask to identify a true lawyer. He said those people who went to law school in 2007 at Tenugo campus, they don't have law book, uh, yearbook, but he has all his uh, certificate intact. We are still going to investigate that, whether he's truly a lawyer or not. If he's tru truly a lawyer, uh, I believe he's not supposed to behave the way he has behaved. You, a lawyer should not be seen conniving with criminal to extort money from an innocent citizen of this country. We are not going to allow that. If you like the video and you think it can help you, I invite you to give it a like, to share the video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos.